CKD or chronic kidney disease of unknown origin is a, it is a disease uh, where, as the name suggests, we don't know what's causing it. We know that it's not related to traditional uh, risk factors for CKD, which are hypertension and diabetes or ageing. Uh, it's prevalent in young working populations, particularly in young men. Uh, and, and it's been seen, it's highly prevalent in Central America. The community where we're working at the moment in Nicaragua, 75% of their male population has been affected by this disease and died of it. In fact, the village we work on in is called the um, Island of Widows. The Adelante Initiative is a, inter, a international collaborative research project that is uh, happening in a, um, one of the largest sugar mills in Nicaragua. And uh, we're working with uh, key stakeholders in the industry and with the workers themselves to develop uh, workplace interventions that are meaningful and effective, putting them into place to try and improve the health and well-being of workers and seeing how that affects uh, disease rates, particularly disease rates around chronic kidney disease of unknown origin. A key health initiative that's come out from our, uh, the research that we've been doing has been the uh, implementation of water rest shade in workplaces, which sounds like a very basic uh, intervention. It is on purpose, but uh, also highlights the conditions that some people work in in different parts of the world. So it's just communicating the fact that workers can protect their health but still maintain their productivity, which is really crucial for these workers because they're paid per piece rate. They're not paid per hour. So climate change is making manual work more dangerous because well, there's a direct effect through increasing global temperatures. So uh, hotter days and also longer periods of the day where it is too hot for people to work, which means that they're forced to work in inhospitable hours, which impacts family uh, and economies as well as their health. Uh, it also has an effect in terms of um, or ramifications for water and access to water. Uh, there's impacts in terms of um, increasing rates of, of extreme events which will have flow on effects to workforces as well, particularly um, vulnerable manual workers. So a key part of our work is to provide evidence-based recommendations. So all of our research, we feed into those recommendations and we uh, work on those recommendations with workers who are being affected and uh, communicate those recommendations to other key stakeholders across the supply chain. So we talk to management, we talk to other uh, industries and sugar mills in particular uh, in, in that region and we're also talking to larger players along the supply chain so we're, we're talking to development banks about their lending policies for, for industries and with workers in these similar conditions or for certification organisations like Fairtrade International or Bon Sucre.